About four years ago, I think it was, um, we went to see his uh, lung pulmonologist on his lungs and to check him and to see how he's doing. As parents, we were trying to you know, follow his disease and make sure that we're doing the right things. Um, through family members, we met Dr. Rader, but uh, we were we were kind of like going, okay, we're going to do this, and we told that doctor. And we got into a two-hour battle in her office, because we were going to go to do the stem cells with Dr. Rader, on her, and she basically raised all hell at us, because we were bad parents, and we shouldn't be doing this, and I went back and forth with her saying, this is what we want to do. Um, he did the treatment, and that what he said to you guys was, was his first treatment. I could totally breathe better, and it was like a wet washcloth just removed from my face. And if you saw him, because when he was, couldn't breathe, his chest was just laboring. laboring. His breathe. pulse was 150, sitting in a chair. So just to sit here and go, he's not on oxygen, and I don't know, and his chest isn't pounding. I can see a huge difference. Just in the last hour, I can see it in his skin, just right here, in his chest and his stomach. Watching him not labor. He was coming to his labor. I'm not coughing, and when I came in here, I was on oxygen. Now I'm not. I can breathe better. I feel like I have more energy. And we brought him home, and we actually did some tests with our doctors before we left, just our general doctor to see his weight, his growth, and all that. And within about uh, five weeks, he gained about six, seven pounds. Mark was in a hospital. They told Mark that he was probably going to die. He was severely ill. And when his father requested to discharge Mark to my care, they tried to stop him. They actually went to a committee in the hospital's legal department to stop Mark from leaving the hospital to come to see me. After Mark's successful treatment, as you can see, he gained all that weight and is playing golf and doing well, and the hospital is still writing letters to Mark's parents saying, bring him back. He must be at death's door. And they have not told these people that most probably, if they hadn't released him from the hospital, that he could have died there. 